Hey Jazzit All Gang and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, I'm Jasmine. Today I will be showing y'all how to do a cute little hairstyle with your braids. Whether you just had them done or if you had them for two months like me. Girl, yes, you can finesse two month old braids. And I can't wait to show you how. If you would like to see how I achieve this hairstyle, then make sure that you keep on watching. Before we get into the video, definitely make sure that you are subscribed to this channel. Go ahead and give me a like as well, girl. But let's go ahead and get straight into the video. All right, so let's go ahead and jump straight into the video. Y'all, I have literally had these braids for a month and a half, going on two months now. So I have plenty of new growth and the braids itself, they still look good, but baby, the roots, <laughs> the roots is, yeah. So for this video, you're only gonna need a few things. Starting off, you wanna grab you some foam, any type of foam that you have. I'm gonna be using the Lotta Body foam i'm almost out but it's enough for us to get through this video if you have some oil sheen any type of oil that you use um it's fine i'm going to be using this iso plus oil sheen with coconut oil add some extra sheen i'm also going to be using an edge control i'm going to be using the 20 the 24 hour even edge control this edge control is extra mega hold. I am natural, so I have to have something with an extra hold to hold my edges in place in the summertime, girl. If you've never tried that edge control, I definitely recommend that you try it because it works wonders on my edges and you'll get to see that in just a second. So you're also gonna need an edge control brush. This is the one that I use. You're also gonna need a claw clamp to pin your hair up and the last two things you're gonna need is an edge band and a head scarf so let's get into it so i'm just gonna pull my hair back like this until i'm done doing my edges baby they look rough and raggedy right now but it's okay because they're gonna look good in just a second so i like to brush my edges to the front so if any new subscribers are here today i do have a slight touch of alopecia on my edges so maybe easily bow over here but we're gonna finesse it okay so when i get done finessing it it's gonna look like i got some edges so, and i like sideburns so i'm gonna leave enough out to do me some cute sideburns all right so usually i just take about this much to start out with just start putting it on the hairline Basically, um, you want to put a little bit back here too, especially if your braids have gotten old, baby, the new growth, you got to do what you got to do to tame it, okay? And ladies, if you have trouble with your edges staying in place, especially, honestly, it don't matter the season. If you just struggle with your edges staying in place after you do them, I got a little tilt for you. So just make sure you keep on watching. So now that we have the edge control on, this is how my edges look before I put them into place. And as you can see, girl, it, it actually, once you put edge control on, it actually look like you got some edges. But I think, honestly, I think my edges have grown a little bit because, baby, I'm just going to brush this part back into my hairline. And then I'm just going to start swooping. All right, I'll I always do everything the same way every single time so we're gonna start this way so I just start by swooping you want to make sure you kind of like press it press it as you swoop so there's one swoopy swoopy and the key for me is to brush it down and then swoop it so down swoop okay and 
as you can see baby it's no hair here so we're gonna just take this hair right here and just swoop it where it's thin and bald let's take it and swoop it like that so for my sideburns i'm just gonna take them and bring them to the front Hold it and then swoop it. And that's it. Okay. One time for the one time, huh? Same thing for this side. Just brush it down and then kind of bring it out and then swoop it. So you want to mold it. Hold it right there. And then swoop this side. Same thing for this side, bring it to the front, pull it out, make sure you keep that finger right there, press it, and then swoop. Oh. You can leave that like that. Sometimes I do that, it's real cute. Okay, so now after you're done doing your edges, you wanna take your edge, whoop. You wanna take your edge band and just tie your, and just tie your edges down. And then we're just gonna go ahead and move on to the rest of the hair. Girl, make sure you put your top back on your edge control, baby. Uh -uh. So, moving on to the rest of the hair. As you can see, um, like in the middle right here, I have like new, gro new growth. And it do look a little crunchy. You can take whatever oil you have, but I'm going to be using the Mayel Rosemary Hair Oil. Y'all, I love this stuff. Definitely believe the hype. I love this oil. And it has like a minty, tingly feeling. So good. So usually I just oil my little part right there. Definitely make sure you rub it into your scalp board. So now you want to just kind of freshen up your parts. Just brush your hair in the direction that it's supposed to go. I'm definitely not one of those girls who has to have a perfect part. So that's good enough for me. So now I'm going to take my foam one pump is good enough for me tap, tap, tap. and then i just press it where the new growth is right here sections so make sure you straighten this hair out from the roots straighten this side out from the roots and then you're just gonna take them and pull them to the back like so to the back like this and you want to bring it down not like this so down you're gonna hold your hand here take the other hand and start twisting your hair and swing it around and up like this. Now you're gonna take your clamp, clamp your hair into place and just let that fall. This part is the part that I was telling y'all about ladies, like if you have trouble with your edges, ow. Stand in place, always tie your edges down and leave them tied down for at least two minutes. So you see how I did my edges first and then I did my hair so it gave it time for my edges to sit and bake so that they can stay in place, girl. And when you let it fall down, you can let it fall down however you want, like that or I'm gonna wear it to the side today because I just feel like, you know, that gives it, gives it a little pizzazz. Okay, so once you have your hair up, you want to get your oil sheen and just spray it. So you do want to tie your hair down where you um, put the foam because this is going to help mold your hair and make it lay down and look so fresh. 
So tying it down for an additional two minutes will flatten like that new growth and make it look really fresh. So two minutes, girl. All right, so let's take this off and then let's go ahead and take off our edge band grill. Oh, baby, caught on the kitchen. Be careful taking off your edge band if it has a Velcro because baby, ooh, the kitchen. Ooh, we be catching the kitchen. Okay, so this is how it's looking after taking off the edge band and the head scarf. Flat, baby. Two month braids wear. This is how it should turn out. I decided to wear my little hair that was left out to the side. I'm gonna turn around so y'all can see. This is it from the side, super cute. Back, baby. Wear it all to the back, but I like to pull mine to the front a little bit just to give it a little you know something cute and flirty but yeah i hope y'all have enjoyed this video if you're not already subscribed definitely consider subscribing i will link everything that i used in this video down below so yeah thank y'all so much for watching and until next time bye